Hey drivers, Dr. Nussi here again, and today I wanna to talk about what do you actually do once you pass your Department of Transportation Physical so that the government knows that you can drive, because there is some steps that you have to take in order for them to know that you are certified. All right, this is a very common question I get all the time in my office, a very simple uh, question to answer, but I wanna break it down step by step because there are some things that you're going to need to do. All right, please drivers, stay subscribed to this channel because when the FMCSA updates the medical standards, I don't want you going in and not knowing what's going on and possibly failing your medicals and not being able to drive. So stay subscribed here to this channel and definitely hit the bell icon so that you're also notified when I make a new video because whenever they change anything I'm gonna make an update video all right this one is about what do you do what are the specifics hopefully you are going to go in and successfully pass your Department of Transportation physical and then what we are going to give you is your medical card and it looks like this so as soon as we hand you this piece of paper you are certified legally to drive you are medically cleared to drive. So you've passed your Department of Transportation Physical and if you walk out with this card, you are medically cleared to drive. Now, what we typically will do is we need to notify the Department of Transportation, the FMCSA. So typically what the provider, the doctor's office will do for you is called the federal, federal reporting. So we will put you in the FMCSA's database. So if we certify you nationally, to drive across state lines. The FMCSA will know that you are able to drive across state lines. You'll be able to drive all across the country. So if you're nationally certified, we will put you in the federal database. Now the state is different. The driver must report to the state themselves. So the doctor's office cannot do this. And this is a question that we get a lot. It's a point of confusion. Uh, the companies don't tell the drivers this, uh, unfortunately, most of the time. But what you will do is whenever you get your license updated or you go in to get a CDL or whatever that is, you will take that certification in with you and then the state will attach that to your driver's license so that they also know that you are allowed to drive. So there's actually two steps here. We, the, the medical office, will typically do the federal reporting, so you're in the FMCSA's database, but you will need to contact the state, go into the BMV, whatever it is, let the state know so that they can attach it to your license. And then the other thing that you are going to need to remember to do is again, we're giving you a piece of paper or sometimes it's a smaller little card or you can get it kind of shrunk down into a smaller card so it fits into your wallet. Some people even laminate it, but you need to have proof that you have completed your DOT physical on you at all times whenever you are commercial driving. So if you ever get, and we've heard stories of this and we're in Ohio, so maybe this is different from state to state, but I've had drivers come in, they've been certified and cleared to drive, and they've just forgot to have this piece of paper in their glove box or they've, they're driving a different vehicle or whatever the situation was, they get pulled over, something happens, they do not have a, a certification to drive, they are medically certified, but the cops are not going to be able to look this up in their squad car and in in, there's no database for this. You've got to actually still have that piece of paper and when you don't, we're hearing people getting their vehicles impounded, getting their tr uh, trucks tossed, all these crazy things. So the other thing is you need to have proof and I've even heard drivers and I, you know the FMCSA is pretty clear. They want you to actually have the card but I've heard drivers actually of taking pictures and having that in their phone and being able to show it that way as well and they're, they're telling us that they're able to get by doing that as well. So that might be another thing that you might want to consider, but really just keep the paper or keep the card with you at all times. Whenever you're driving, you don't want to get caught in a situation uh, with not having that because again, you don't want to get your vehicle impounded. You don't want to get your license suspended. You don't want to, you just don't want to go through all that. It, it ends up working out in the end, but you don't want to go through that rigmarole if you don't have to. Okay, drivers, so I hope that clears up some confusion. Uh, if you're in the Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky area, please check out our site, easydotphysicals.com. Until next time, drivers, stay safe.